These are the CDU pages used for FMC preflight. This lesson shows how to put in the route on the route page. Most routes require a departure procedure for takeoff. You select departure procedures and transitions on the departures page to make them part of the flight plan. Let's continue the preflight from the pause init page. The pause init page preflight is complete. Notice that Boeing field has been put in. Show the route page. The message light illuminates because KBFI is in the scratch pad. The FMC copied KBFI from the pause init page to the route page. This can save time while you start to put in the route. You will manually put in this route from Boeing Field to Los Angeles. Start with the departure airport. Put the ICAO identifier, KBFI, and the origin line. Put in the ICAO identifier for Los Angeles, KLAX, as the destination. The company route is used to put in company defined routes. This is discussed later. Put in the flight number. Put in the runway. Each route segment is put in ATC format, almost the same as regular flight plan entries. The route segment or airway information is put in on the left and the endpoint of the route segment is put in on the right. Put in Seattle as the first endpoint under the two column. Direct is automatically put in the via column if a route segment is not put in. Next, put the high altitude airway, J1, in the subsequent via line. There are many waypoints along J1, but only the end point of your route segment must be put in. To complete the segment, put Avenal in the box prompts under the two column. Page 1 is full. Select the next page to continue the FMC preflight. Continue to put in the route in the order shown. The route is in, but it is not active. An inactive route is shown in Cyan. You must activate the route before the autoflight system can fly it. There are two steps to make a route active. First, select the line select key adjacent to activate. The execute light illuminates. Second, push the execute key to make the route active. The route page title changes to active. The route becomes magenta, and after airborne, the autopilot can fly the active route. You can also use the company route line to put in the flight plan. A company route is a predefined route that your company loads into the navigation database. The entire route is put in with a company route identifier. Put in the company route identifier. The company route includes most of the route data you put in before. Company routes can include the runway in SID. 
but the runway and SID are often left out because of potential runway changes. Your flight contains a departure procedure and a transition. The departure arrival key shows the departure arrival index page. From this page, there is a prompt to get access to the departures page for the origin airport. To go back to the departure arrival index page, you can push either the index prompt or the departure arrival key. From here, you can show the arrivals for the origin or the destination airport. Show the departure arrival index page. The arrival prompts are used to show the arrivals page for the origin or destination airports. The prompts are discussed in a different lesson. Departures or arrivals for other airports show after you put in the airport ICAO identifier in these lines. Show the KBFI departures page. You use the departures page to select the departure runway, departure procedure, and transition for the root origin airport. Active shows by the departure runway because you put a runway in the route page. Active shows that the runway is part of the active route. Select the departure procedure for your flight. This shows that the departure procedure is selected. The execute light illuminates. This shows a route modification is in progress. Modifications show as white dashes. On route page 1, mod shows in the page title. An erase prompt comes into view. The prompt erases all modifications and shows the original active route. Use the erase prompt to erase the modifications. The route modifications are erased, the original active route shows, and the execute light extinguishes. Select the departure procedure again. These are transitions available for the selected departure procedure. You can select Hump, Orton, or Vamps. Select the correct transition for your route. The departure entries are complete, but the map shows that the modified flight plan discontinues after Orton. Go back to the route page to connect the discontinuity. The Laker 3 departure Orton transition is shown. A route discontinuity follows the SID. A discontinuity occurs when two route segments are not connected. Show route page 2. As you can see, the rest of the route is the same as before. Show route page 1 to see how to connect the discontinuity. ATC clears you from the departure transition at Orton direct to Alder. Alder is on J1. You must connect Orton to Alder to make the route the same as the clearance. Put Alder in the boxes to connect the discontinuity. Enter the data as shown and select the correct key. Execute the modification. The root entry part of the preflight is complete.